Hello and welcome back to Solar Farmer. Uh, before we begin, I gotta run this disclaimer from YouTube. Um, I guess they're getting really strict on all their rules, so here you go. Alright, here we go. Today I want to discuss uh, my first build on 18650 batteries. Uh, listed above or listed in the video is the are the uh, pieces of equipment that I used, um, and we'll just we're just going to go over it. Not necessarily how to build the battery, but what particular problems I ran into. This unit here is an XTAR VC8. This thing is a, for me anyway is a must have because it does pretty much everything it charges and then it grades and it charges it with storage and and it tells you the resistance this one here is a t240 duo this is if once you have your balance charger and everything um, this will do from 2s to 6s as far as charging your batteries and balancing them this is also another great device to have when you're when you're testing and, and running your batteries um, and charging them. Um, I didn't think there was that much to do with batteries as far as charging, but now after building my first battery pack, yeah, uh, these two items here, for me are, anyway, are a must have. Um, anyway, the problems that I had were these battery holders I had I bought two of them because I wanted to compare the two. One is this um, Bruzen. I didn't like this very much. As you can see, the the uh, the tin strip there is stuck to this particular piece because the bolt inside I don't know if it's crimped on or soldered on, welded on, but it came off and now it's very difficult to have to turn it. Um, this one here is a lot easier to use if you make a mistake with your tin strip you just rip it off you, you replace it and that's pretty much it this one here because it looks like a Lego block those four posts on the one end I can't get my fingers in there to even tighten the screw I mean it's 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 just really difficult to work with um, you'll see in the end my, my end products but we'll get to that in a minute here this is grading on the XTAR VC8 and what that means is it's going to charge it all the way up and then deplete it so that it can take a measurement on the amount of milliamps that the battery can actually hold. Uh, that's a great feature because it cycles your battery but it tells you in the end what what your battery is capable of holding as far as energy. Um, this unit also does capacity it does internal resistance it does a storage charge it it pretty much does everything I need to do for a battery now with the internal resistance it's okay I guess when the battery is hot after a charge it, it might be off a little bit so it's probably good to just let it cool off if you want to you know at least be consistent either take it when it's hot or, or but I, I usually wait till it's cold here's a storage charge um, I guess all of these are almost, they're, as you can see, they're depleting the battery. It's going to bring it down to about 3.7 volts. So <clears throat> that's good if you're going to keep your battery stored away for a while. Um, and here it's getting close to finishing them up. So um, I believe it's charging upwards. And you can see some of the ones are going down. So yeah, again, it's going to be about 3.7 volts. Great feature to have on a charger. Again, going back to these, this one I like over this Frozen, only because it's easier to work with. Again, those four posts, getting your fingers in there to just get the bolt on. I mean, yeah, you can use a magnetic socket, I guess, and, but even that you can't really feel. But once it's once it's going in, and, and I don't know why, maybe this is maybe this one's here is a Chinese imitation, but. I just didn't like working with it. This one here is just a lot faster, a lot easier. It's no wonder a lot of guys on the internet are, are using similar products to this because they're just easier to get to. Um, I really didn't like this Frozen style, um, I guess, battery holder is what you would call it. I also had to use zip ties to put them together, to, to, to mash them together, I guess. Um, and this other one here, the finished pro products, now this T240, 
Um, I guess when I finished, I guess because of the soldering and so on, some of the batteries may have been affected. But in any case, this is when it when I first put it on, it it was obviously needing of uh, a balance charge. The balance chargers I have on there are, are generic Chinese. They work, as you can see, they're working. It's just that this particular one, I really had to on the the positive and negative the last the first and the last on the battery management system itself it had to, I had to change those wires because for whatever reason they were running hot but once I changed them it was fine um, as far as input and output it's, it's all good and as you can see here I used to ha I had to use tie wrap just to to get this to stay and then also soldering on those tin on those tin pieces is not the same as just spot welding on on this particular one so once again it was just easier to use the the black battery holders than the the bruising anyway um if this was helpful if you're going to build your first battery uh you know like and subscribe I, i've got more sorry it took so long i had problems with my audio and i'm just now i'm hoping this works so anyway have a good day and uh we'll see you again soon